We're going to make ground beef biscuit enchiladas. You start by browning a pound of ground beef. This is ground beef I had in the freezer. Actually, it was some meatball mixture that I wanted to, to use up. Um, it was a little wet, and therefore it kind of stuck to the pan, but it didn't diminish the flavor. Next, you'll add some green chilies. You'll also have added some garlic powder, some garlic, uh, some onion powder, and about a tablespoon of taco seasoning. You mix this all together until it's all incorporated. Next, take a tube of buttermilk biscuits, not the flaky kind, just the buttermilk. Cut each piece in half and then each of those halves into four pieces. Be sure to spray your 9 by 13 casserole dish with cooking spray. Place the pieces in the pan and make sure you put red enchilada sauce all over every piece. Once your meat is done cooking, you'll want to place that on top of those pieces of buttermilk biscuits. It smells so delicious between the meat and the enchilada sauce. You want to cover as much of the pieces of biscuit as possible. Then you're going to place on one cup to a cup and a half of cheddar cheese or Colby Jack cheese, whichever type of cheese your family prefers. This is Colby Jack cheese. I just took a whole block and grated it myself. You want to make sure to get cheese all over every inch of your casserole. See there? Don't want to miss a piece. Spread it around. Make sure it's all coated very nicely. And once you have everything coated, and by the way, excuse that view, place it into a 350 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. And here you have it. Doesn't it look delicious? It smells heavenly. And by the way, it tasted terrific. Thanks for stopping by everybody, and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. See you real soon.